Hey guys, so today I wanted to do another vlog style video, but we're gonna do a 24 hours with a newborn and a one year old. So I did a 24 hours with a newborn video with Knox back in 2019, I'll link that below. So we're gonna see how much different it is now with two versus one. So I already put Knox to sleep. Um, he's been asleep for a little bit. We're working on Nash, but before I put him to sleep, I'm gonna do my routine, so I'm gonna shower. I already put my hair in pigtails. I need to refill Knox's, or I need to refill Nash's little station. I'll show you guys here in a minute, so let's go do that. So this is what Nash currently sleeps in. This is what Knox slept in. You want your little passy? Come on. Ah. So this is the little caddy I was talking about that I use every night because we don't have a changing table in here that is in the nursery. Okay, so I figured I would give you all a postpartum update. All right, so I just showered. Nash is still right here being a good boy, so I'm not going to bother him. But I'm just going to do my skincare routine. Give you guys a postpartum update. So I didn't end up tearing down there, which is great because recovery was super simple with Knox. I did end up tearing and recovery was a little painful. Um, this one, I would say I was sore like maybe two to three days after I gave birth and then it was fine. The worst part has been hemorrhoids. My hemorrhoids have been out of this world like holy crap. But yeah, my hemorrhoids hurt so I have to use like hemorrhoid pads. Um, I'm still wearing like the diapers right now because I only have a couple left and I figured I'm not going to use them again so might as well just use up what I paid for. Breastfeeding has been super easy with Knox. It was so hard. That was my first time breastfeeding um, and I think because I went a whole year now my body my boobs and just everything is used to it so breastfeeding has been a breeze this time around. If you watch my video with Knox, the 24 hour video, you will see how much I struggled. I was literally in tears like every night. It was horrible. So besides lack of sleep, I mean it's been it's been pretty good postpartum. I'll show you guys my body and what that looks like. Nash is getting a little restless. It's okay. Yeah, I feel very fortunate that this postpartum recovery has been so easy, especially since it's my last baby. I feel very thankful. So here is what we are working with. We are exactly two weeks postpartum. It looks a little bit red here. It's because I exfoliated in the shower, but I do kind of have some stretch marks right here. I do still have that line that goes all the way down. And like I said, I am wearing the diapers because I am still bleeding. It's not super heavy or anything, but I just want to use up my diapers. I have four left. Here is postpartum. Um, surprisingly, my weight has dropped pretty fast. I'm at 141 pounds. When I gave birth, I was 164 pounds. Um, I actually gained a lot more weight with this pregnancy than with Knox or with my oldest Brayden. So I don't know, it's weird. So I am going to go get some diapers and show you guys Noxy because I think he's asleep now. So here I am just feeding the dog and filling up his water, filling up my water. My husband is at work tonight, so it's just the boys and I. And just locking the door and letting the dog in, turning off the lights, turning down the thermostat. Hey. Hey. <laughs> now I'm putting on his sleep sack. I'll link this one in my description box. I did have the one, the Velcro one with his arms straight down, and this one works so much better. He likes this one a lot more. So it's about 11 o'clock here and I am feeding Nox, or Nash. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is 2.30. Um, I just fed Nash and changed him and now he is back in his bassinet. He woke up at 2.10 so he slept from like 11 to 2.10 so over three hours which I'm happy about not complaining um so <coughs>
Good morning. It is, can you see that? 5 a.m. Currently burping Nash. He just ate, so hopefully he goes down soon and we can get back to sleep because mama's tired. Good morning. It is 7.45, so not too bad of a night, honestly. I mean, waking up every two to three hours, which is pretty standard with a newborn. Um, he's very gassy, oh my God. The noises he makes is just unreal. I'm gonna feed him, change him. Noxie is still asleep, so I'm just gonna hang out in bed until Nox gets up. This is Noxie's corner. And you blaze on and get your milk. And this is the best part of every morning getting to snuggle with Nox and let him drink his milk and watch his show. Hello? Why do you have the iPad, mister? Nox eats pretty much the same breakfast every single day. Some type of fruit, today's banana. We do these yummy spoonful of pancakes with some syrup and some bacon. Now I'm starting on hubby's breakfast and also making my breakfast. So some Cheerios and just some oatmeal. And hubby got a bacon and egg sandwich, yum. Now I'm just cleaning up the kitchen because I cannot stand a messy kitchen. And here I am pumping because I was very engorged. I did not pump in the middle of the night. Nexi, you wanna play with mama? <laughs> Nox loves looking at books. You can see he just flips through the pages, throws them down, and then he likes to bring them to me and sit on my lap and read them. He's happy again. Just chilling. Always eating. Thomas Jameson is finally awake. You got your elephant and your bear. Oh, big yawn. <laughs> woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> Can you put some ice cubes in your drink for me? This is diluted apple juice. You're such a good helper. Thank you. Is that good? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so Noxie is eating his lunch. He's got some hot dogs, banana, goldfish. The baby's crying. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute you are. Say hi. You wanna go bye bye? Yeah. Come on. Whoa. You go bye bye? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
so sweet now she is fast asleep. Thirsty. Bye. So it is 6.52 at night and Moxie's just playing with his toys like a good boy. And then now she's over here snoozing again. So I'm gonna get ready to go grab some food. We're gonna come back eat, give them baths, and get ready for bedtime for Knox at least. Nash, he's not really on a schedule. We are getting takeout from Jimmy's. It's like a local favorite. It's just a small town, mom and pop shop. Super good, great food, great people. It is 43 degrees out right now, you guys. It's gonna be 28 tonight, which is so cold for Florida. So I'm gonna go get my food and I'll be back. Just got home and Knox automatically goes to the high chair. You smart boy, are you hungry? This is what we've eaten. Got some milkshakes, got a cheeseburger, and then whatever my husband got with some big beans. Bath night. Yeah. Love you, Nox. Good night. <laughs> as soon as we leave the room, Knox calms down. Here he is on his camera. He's ready to go to sleep. All right guys, so that is my 24 hour video with a newborn and a one year old. I'm gonna get ready to put him to bed soon, but I'm just chilling on my phone right now, trying to get tired. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah. Bye.